Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you decided to click on this video and I hope you're having an amazing day. So as the title said, today I'm going to be doing my May TBR. I haven't done a lot of these in the past. Well, that's a miss. I have done these in the past. However, they haven't often gone over well. But I will say this past April has probably been the best TBR month and sticking to it that I have ever had. And it's funny because, I mean, I definitely read a lot of books that were not on this list, and I definitely didn't get through all of the books I wanted to, but, like, the bulk of the books I read were on this TBR that I made last month, and all of the books that I read physically were books that I had put on this TBR last month. So I'm pretty proud of that because a lot of times it's like, I will get a new book at some point in the middle of the month and be like, ooh, must must read this immediately. And so that, I mean, not to say that I didn't get books that I was excited about, but I was like, no, no, you are sticking to what you've got already. So I am very excited for it to be May so that I have all these new books to choose from. So with that, I am going to go ahead and get started. Now, once again, this is probably an incredibly overzealous list. I am almost definitely not going to get to all of these, but these are all things that I would like to prioritize and we'll go from there. So first off, I want to start with two that are ebooks. And the first one is Think Twice by Harlan Coben. I just got this e-arc. So it is something that is coming out soon. It comes out on May 14th, but I'm very excited about it. I've really enjoyed his books in the past. So I'm hoping that I can get this read by its publication date. So that is an ebook. The other ebook that I definitely want to prioritize is called Oh gosh, I don't even know the name of it. It's the second book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I just read the first one and I read it because my niece is almost almost 11 years old and she is loving those. And you know, it's really cool to have somebody that's like so into reading and I love that it's something we can talk about together. So I was like, yeah girl, I'll read your books. And it was really, really good. So I'm pretty sure I would have read like, I would have continued the series anyways. So, yeah, very excited to read that second one, but I do have to just wait for the library hold to get here, and then I will be back to Percy Jackson. So, my physical TBR, here we go. So, trying to work through some of my backlist and uh, just general, like, books that are coming out soon that I have art copies of. I am going to start with Devil is Fine by John Vercher. I was so kindly sent to the sent this by the publisher and this is kind of a mystery I think a mystery that sort of um veers to the like literary fiction uh category so I am definitely looking forward to reading this I think this will be really good I definitely think I want to make sure that's done and also I'm so curious about what this cover means because there's like jellyfish and then also dirt so I'm like what what is this so that will be good. Next is one I was just sent by Gallery Press. And again, I'm going to try to get to it by its publication date, but we'll see because I did just get this. And uh, that is One Perfect Couple by Ruth Ware. I have had a like, love-hate relationship with her books. I've really enjoyed two of them, The Turn of the Key and another one I can't remember. But then there have been a few that I really didn't like. So it's kind of a toss-up whether or not I'm going to enjoy this, but hey, they sent it to me, I'm willing to give it a shot. And you know, it's a nice floppy paperback. So can't be mad about that. So I would definitely like to get that this month. I don't even know what it's about. It's like a and then there were none situation, which is honestly a trope like that I am sick of, but we'll give it a go. Next is Real Americans, which just came out. I was also sent this by Not Publishing, and I'm so excited to read this. I had talked about this in my like most anticipated books of April, I believe. So I made that video back in March. And I'm just, I was so excited when I got this in the mailbox because I was going to buy it anyways. <laughs> this is actually, I think, a book of the month pick for... May, which as I'm filming this is April 30th, and they just came out today. And honestly, I ended up skipping because all of the books on it, either I already read and didn't feel like I need to own, I already had a copy of, or I was like absolutely not interested in it at all. So yeah, I skipped and I would have picked this though. This one is 
about a woman in like the beginning of the new millennium and she meets this guy and they end up having a baby they fall in love but then it like 15 years later they this baby is 15 and I don't know it's gonna tackle some like wealth disparity issues which is something that I'm really interested in and I think it will be very thought-provoking and I am looking forward to that the next one is a great country I also talked about this in a video I can't remember if that if this came out in May or, or I'm sorry April or March I bought this one on Pango and I'm excited this is about like a family who whoop had a nice little bookmark in it a family that lives in like a rich area there's some stuff that is off and again like racial tensions and such and so I that was a horrible explanation but I really don't know exactly what it's about but I do know that at one point I was really excited to read it so I am definitely excited to read it and uh, again I got a, such a good deal on Pango if you are haven't used Pango I have a whole short on how to list and I also have a link down in the description where you can get five dollars off your first order not just on my shop any shop so definitely worth checking out if you've never used them before it's just a book resale site if I didn't say that I also bought this one on Pango First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston while it hasn't officially been decided yet I believe this might be end up being our my bar three book club book for next month so I would love that because that was like a suggestion I was very excited about so hopefully this will be that but if not I'm still really excited to read it it is a thriller and I know it was a book of the month pick in January I believe so I've heard nothing but good things and like a few of my friends that I trust were like it's the best thriller I've ever read so that's very high praise I don't know if I'll for sure agree but I am looking forward to giving it a shot the next one was one that I just got in the mail today and I'm so excited about is The Yankee Way by Andy Martino he is a sports writer for SNY or maybe he's on television SNY analyst <laughs> but he you know has written other books and he wrote one of my favorite baseball books cheated which is about the Houston Astros cheating scandal back in 2017 so I absolutely loved that book I loved his writing and I'm looking forward to this this is about the New York Yankees in the era of Brian Cashman which if you're not a fan of the Yankees or in-depth baseball he is the general manager for a long time and kind of turned the team from some really, really rough years into like the dynasty of the 90s and early 2000s. So this should be a super interesting read and I can't wait to get to it. The next one is a an arc I was sent by Harper. This comes out on June 11th, which is my birthday. So get ready. That's going to be a fun video for me to make all the books coming out on my birthday. Uh, the Unforgettable Loretta Darling. This one is about a makeup artist who... It's 1950s in Hollywood and she like goes to Hollywood, gets married and discovers like how corrupt Hollywood was and how much power certain men had and how they would take advantage of women with it and how like she I guess and like gets a group together and they're like let's go get revenge on these guys. So it sounds fun and educational like I love that time period and so I think it will be really a good time. I'm not 100% sure if this is like supposed to be like a comedy funny <laughs> or if it's like a serious like revenge story sort of thing but eh, I'm excited to give it a shot. Next is Birding with Benefits which is one that I got sent by Grand Central Publishing so thank you to them. This is an art copy this comes out on June 4th and I think this is going to be really fun. So it's a romance slash like women's fiction and it is about like an older woman like an empty nester um who is newly divorced and she starts like getting into bird watching I think with like this guy that's been her friend or her friend's friend anyways I'm not sure exactly but they like start doing this like bird watching thing together and I guess they have a romance I would assume but it does look really cute I like the cover and uh, I really like books about like older like like romances with like a little bit of an older focus uh, because like I don't know I guess because I'm getting older as well it's like fun to see that even though I'm not like it's just nice to have see the representation of like an older demographic versus all these like 24 year olds in romances 
just like a little variety. So the next book is The Safe Keep, which comes out May 28th. This is an, also an ARC copy uh, from Avid Reader Press. And first of all, I'm intrigued by the cover because it's just pears. Who knows what that means? This is set in um, the Netherlands. It's set in 1961. So like the city has become like back to, to normal, so to speak, after the war. Things are pretty much like chill. And this woman, Isabel, has her life upended when her brother Louis delivers his new girlfriend, Ava, to Isabel's doorstep for the summer or season, sorry. And she's the worst, apparently. And it seems like it's going to be, oh, it is the summer. <laughs> it, it, uh, I don't really know what's going to happen, but it's like a annoying friend meets like post World War II. And I don't know, that's not a genre, but it does sound like it's something that it will be very intriguing once I get to it. Like sometimes books like this, I can not, I don't know, they're not exactly my favorite thing in in theory, like thinking about them, but then I read them and I'm like, yes. I kind of feel like that's with me with a lot of historical fiction. I, on the surface, I'm like, I don't know, like when am I gonna wanna read that? But then I start it and I'm like, yes, please take all my money. I want all the historical fiction books. So hopefully that's the same. Uh, this does look really good and I can't wait. The next one is The Glass House by Emily St. John Mandel, which I'm doing a buddy read with. Leandra, the TBR zero, and uh, I'm so excited. We are going to have such a good time. We've already like started to kind of exchange a little bit of like how we're going to do our buddy read and it's just gotten me so hyped. So this should be awesome. I'm such a fan of her books and I feel like this one is not going to be an exception. And this is kind of the same vibes as like how I feel like with historical fiction. Her books are so like kind of out there and I'm always like nervous to start them and then I always love them. So hopefully this is no exception and I can't wait to buddy read it and then talk about it with her. The next two are some that I had on my TBR this month and I just did not end up getting to. So I definitely want to prioritize them for next month. And the first one is Rainbow Black. This is one about a girl who like lives in a hippie daycare, satanic panic. And I don't know, it just seems like it'll be good. I talked about it in previous videos. And then Doorman Wanted by Glenn R. Miller. I think this is actually going to end up being my book club's my like regular book club, uh, our pick for the month of May. So I think that would be an excellent time to be reading this. And yeah, it looks really, really cute. Again, this is about like a man who inherits a whole bunch of money and a whole apartment building from his dad, but he's not like into being like hoity-toity wealthy. So he takes a job as a doorman anonymously in the building and like kind of gets to know people and see like, how they how they treat I don't know so it does seem like that is going to be really really good so I'm excited I'm also in the well I'm not in the middle of it I'm on page 37 of the paradise problem that is a book I definitely am planning to finish soon I am yeah I'm not too far but I want to definitely knock a bunch of this out maybe the next week or so I'm also currently listening to the great believers by Rebecca Mackay I'm almost done so it's not like it will you know be a TBR situation but I am going to probably be taking that into the month of May and a book that I just started which is called the book of Essie and I just like randomly saw it on Amazon that it was like $1.99 and it sounded good and like I kind of couldn't believe I hadn't heard of it it's about a family of uh, televangelists. Did I say that right? You know what I'm saying though. Like, um, and it's, they are on a reality show, like all of the Duggars. And so then they're like, oh, one of their daughters ends up pregnant. And that's about as far as I've gotten, but it's, I'm enjoying it so far. So totally random fine. But if you've read that, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. So that is a lot of books. I'm sure I won't get to them all, but Hopefully that is a great place for me to be choosing books from. So yeah, fingers crossed I can uh, do a lot of reading and I have a great month in May. So let me know in the comments what you plan to read in the next month. And I am just so grateful that you decided to watch this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.